Nope, the title of this video ain't clickbait. I did sit behind the wheel of a giant tractor and while I did drive it around the field, I also let it drive me around. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, helping you find the right device to match your needs. I'm still taking a break from covering smartphones and today in this video, I'm going to talk about something that I rarely, if at all, talk about on this channel, but it's exactly the kind of tech that I've been looking for. But what do tractors and smartphones have in common? And what's it like riding a self-driving tractor? Well, keep watching. Last year, I was wandering through the Las Vegas Convention Center, as I usually do, at the annual Consumer Electronics Show. And I found myself at the John Deere booth mesmerized by a massive machine with an enormous wingspan. It was like they had brought a real-life dinosaur to the show, a cross between a pterodactyl with big wings and maybe a T-Rex. While CES is no stranger to smart vehicles, I wondered why a farming machine was on display at the show. Little did I know, the R4038 sprayer was just as high-tech as the Audi Concept self-driving car that I also got to ride at the show. In fact, John Deere's entire fleet of farming machines could very well be farming robots, just like smartphones, also leveraging the power of data and artificial intelligence to redefine and reshape the farming industry. I've since become a John Deere fan, even building my own custom Deere tractor out of Lego. I even worked with them earlier this year, hosting one of their CES events. But it really wasn't until my recent trip to Deere HQ that I got a first-hand feel of how everything they do fits together and what John Deere in 2021 is really about. Here are some of my biggest takeaways. I grew up seeing tractors in fields and riding some toy tractors like this one. And when I visited the John Deere archives, I also got to see the evolution of the tractor through the ages. From steel plows to horse-drawn plows, to tractors with metal wheels, to tractors that run on kerosene, developed at a time when fuel supplies were scarce. And like the car, the tractor has come a long way too, but it's not quite what one might expect. The first machine I climbed into during my trip was the new X9 Combine, their newest machine fresh off the production line. It's got plush leather seats with their own suspension built in, as comfy as those on a sports car. And if you go with all the customizations, you also get a massage chair. Notice these massage functions. Not only that, you also get a built-in refrigerator so you could stock up on your favorite beverage. Now, while these upgrades might seem like luxuries, spending time on an actual farm has made me realize that it's also about collectively reducing the strain on their bodies so that they can have a much longer career as farmers. Beyond innovations and comfort, these machines are smart as a Tesla, perhaps even more. John Deere's planters can plant crops with incredible accuracy. Imagine one seed planted in a hole an inch deep, spaced 15 inches apart from one another. Now imagine up to thousands of those seeds planted per second. Yep, that's possible now. Now one of the things that farmers cannot control is the weather. And sometimes that window, that ideal window to plant is so short that being able to plant efficiently so fast is vital. Now these machines are also always collecting data, be it about the soil quality, nutrient levels, seed placement, and dosage of fertilizers, all of which a farmer can go back to when needed. The X9 Combine I was talking about earlier also has two cameras built in, so a farmer can make sure that the grain they're currently processing is of the best quality. Also like futuristic smart cars, these machines can drive themselves, but right now. On top of every John Deere tractor is this yellow disc. That's a GPS unit which they've included in vehicles since 1999. Back then, because of its promise as an industry game changer, it was lovingly referred to as the steel plow of the 21st century. These days, GPS on John Deere tractors allows you to plot out boundaries along your farms, monitor exactly the areas where your equipment has covered, and set paths for your tractors to travel on. That way, you can let go of the steering wheel and let the tractor drive for you. I am behind the wheel. No hands. If 
pretty amazing, guys. Pretty cool. On this trip, I visited Borkren Farms in Woodhull, Illinois, and I learned that whenever they're out on a field, farmers have a lot to think about, whether they're planting or harvesting. So any amount of automation helps save some bandwidth so that they can focus on more important things. The feature is called Auto Track, and turning it on is as easy as pressing a button. And just like that, you can let go of the steering wheel and the tractor will drive on its own, following a virtual line that farmers can outline in advance. If you're off course, the machine will automatically correct its course. It can also automatically round corners for you once it gets to the end of a field. By the way, if you're curious, driving a tractor is just like driving a large SUV, maybe just bigger and higher, and you can only travel at roughly five to 10 miles per hour when you're out on a field. I hear sprayers travel even faster, around 15 to 20 miles per hour, and farmers like to fight over the job because of how smooth the ride. For me, the most exciting part of John Deere's self-driving tech is a feature called Machine Sync, which allows one machine to remotely control the other. At the Deer Training Center in Iowa, I got to sit in a combine that was controlling a tractor my buddy David was riding in. Now, why would a farmer need to control a tractor? Well, a combine harvester does many jobs at the same time, hence its name. The biggest tasks are gathering, threshing, and cleaning. These big claws grab stalks of corn from the ground to put ears of corn in the machine. Massive rotating cylinders grind and separate the kernels of grain from the husks and cobs, threshing. And then large fans and sieves shake the grains or kernels of corn from everything else, cleaning. Now, during harvesting season, these kernels of corn are simultaneously unloaded into tractors pulling grain wagons via this big spout up top. And because time wasted is money lost, this is done while the machine is harvesting and not after. So the tractor with the grain wagon needs to drive alongside the combine, a stressful operation. Machine Sync will allow the combine to control the tractor, so all of this can be done autonomously with just a few button presses. And of course, for security, the tractor needs to grant permission first. But you can still rock him back and forth if you want it. Sorry, David. My trip to Borkgren Farms was insightful. There, I got to meet two generations of farmers. I don't have any photos of the patriarch Rick, but I do remember him showing me his seven-year-old flip phone, which is still his daily carry. These days, he just drives around in his John Deere Gator, and from time to time, will let the autonomous tractor drive him around. His sons now call the shots, and their roles as farmers are very different from their fathers. A lot of this is thanks to innovations in farming. Just like how AI has taken the guesswork out of smartphone photography so that all you have to do is tap on the shutter for a good photo, artificial intelligence has allowed farmers to focus more on decision-making, the data and analyzing how they can maximize their yield per acre of land. It's also helped them get more done right faster. They can also keep track of every seed planted so they can go back to a granular level to see what went wrong or what went right. As a control freak, I love how they call it, micromanagement at scale. So there you go, a quick video about everything that I learned during my trip with John Deere. It's not a video that I do very often, and I know it's not as sexy as, say, a foldable smartphone, but from the food that we eat to some of the products that we consume, farming or its byproducts is very much a part of our lives. Personally, after hearing the word AI thrown around the smartphone space for years, I've also been excited to see how other industries are leveraging it and what a difference it's making in the world that we live in. All I can say is, what an incredible time to be alive. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this one by signing off in the comments section below. And as always, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already, and click that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff, including posts from my trip to Deer HQ and the John Deere Classic. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. 
thanks for dropping by.